All right. Now you had three years, EC Central. Freshman year, you come in, a lot of hype, um, played well, went up and down. Sophomore year, you spent some injuries. Junior year, you know, as you just explained to us, you know, you finished off pretty bad. Now your senior year, uh, you were just thrown off the team as a junior. Now what's going on with you as a senior? Well, like I said, I had a lot of people at Central, you know what I'm saying, that cared about me, you know what I'm saying, that looked out for me. One of them, Coach A, he the coach at Central right now. You know, I used to always go see him. And he's just a teacher and he's a JV coach. He's my assistant coach from JV. And um, he was just with me, like I said, the whole time. And um, he was really feeling like I should, I should still be playing basketball at Central and stuff. So I was like, that was cool. That was cool. He helped me out. He's very instrumental in it, helping me get back on the team. And, uh, like, before that, though, I played AAU ball. That's where I got a lot of my name from, and college coaches knowing who I was. I mean, I'm thankful for AAU basketball. But I'm going to take this little side sidebar and talk about AAU for one second. It got something to do with this. Um, I was playing AAU basketball, and uh, Coach Tisdale, Speed Central, <clears throat> and I was playing. It was this this white guy, you know what I'm saying? He had a son on the team with me, and he seen me play, and he was like, um, why, who's this guy? He has and Coach Tisdale, who's this guy? He was like, oh. Train Peterson. He's like, I'd love to have him on my team. And Coach Tiz was like, Yeah, you could. He's, he don't have a school to go to next year. So he's like, I'm gonna get him. I was supposed to go down there. He um he was um athletic director down at um school in Lafayette. Matter of fact, Oxford. He was Oxford. It's down by Lafayette though. Oxford. Okay. But anyway, um, Coach said I went down there, but then it transpired. I came back. Why? Oh man, a couple. I want to know why. You know what I'm saying? Hey, why? Man. First, first and foremost, my grandmother. My grandma was sick and stuff, so I knew I was going on to college the next year. So she had cancer and stuff, so I really, I didn't want to leave her. I asked for her blessing. She told me to go. She was like, you know what I'm saying, that's what she and My grandma, she, she don't never tell me to go no more. When she said that, you know what I'm saying, it was making the decision a whole lot easier. And then, you know, my man, Johnny Ryan, you know what I'm saying, he had came back. So he was like, he was in Hawaii, he came back. He's like, man, Moose, man, we can take this thing. Man, we can take it all over the state, so I'm like. That's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? Then a whole bunch of other people just wanted me to come back. Then my girl, too. My girl at the time. You know what I'm saying? She wanted, she was crying, wanted me to come back. So I made a decision. But I had, man, I had, like, schools, like, high schools recruiting me. Like, South Bend LaSalle, my man, um, Brandon McKnight, he went there. He um, went to Purdue. Played for Gene Katie, went to Purdue. He wanted me to come down there. Um, Out here in Indianapolis. Cathedral High School I had a guy who went there, um, Leon Petty. He wanted me, they coach wanted me to come there. Hammond High coach wanted me to go to Hammond High. You know, everybody found out that I was like almost a free agent, so everybody wanted me to come to school. But in the end, you know what I'm saying, I got I got my heart. It's, my heart is in East Chicago, man. I feel uh, like. You know what? I, I understand that. But one of the things that we have to start realizing we have to do what's best for us. Now, was it, I mean, you had a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the, the, the only one that I can feel you on as far as your grandmother but your grandmother gave you go a, a, a green light yeah so was it so what really kept you back i wanted to win the chip in chicago man i wanted to be the first one to win the championship in chicago man i always been confident in my skills and also my teammate skills man i wanted to be the first class to ever bring the championship back to East chicago that was one of my main reasons for coming back and i feel like we had the tools and everything to do not and i had regained my focus man I, I didn't smoke weed no more. I went to drug classes. I, I, I changed my life, man. I was, for the first time in my life, Carl, I'm, I'm not a dumb dude. I'm not a stupid dude. If I do my work, straight A student, man. I had a B plus average, Carl. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was focused. Totally focused and everything. But like I said, I came back my senior year, man. And I got hurt in the turkey tournament. You know what I'm saying? I got hurt. I mean, it, people don't really know, but I got hurt, man. You know, and we got blew out, man. I'm talking about, I ain't never seen embarrassment in Turkey tournament history like how we got beat, man. We got beat by like 20, almost 30 points. So anyway, um, it was a party that night, man. And I see, you know what I'm saying, the underclassmen at the party, partying, laughing, everything cool. And I'm, like I said, I'm a basketball player. I'm hurt from me. just got punished, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like all my three is one thing I can say about myself. I might have did some BS, but when I stepped in that court, Carl, I gave 110%. And I feel like these dudes not giving me my senior year 110%. They don't care like the way I care and, and people before me care. You know what I'm saying? So I was hot, man. So then, like I said, by that time, me and Coach Miles, we was just, he let me back on the team. And we was just like, 
It was like how Bob Knight was. They gave so, Bob Knight. So did he let you back on the team because he he knew you was gonna go somewhere else? I don't know. It might have. It might have had something to do with it. But at the same time, I had a lot. He had a lot of people in his ear, man, just telling me, telling him to give, give me another chance, man. You know what I'm saying? That I had transformed to a different person from then he, what he known in the, in the previous years, man. So I think he's seen some of that transformation itself. But like I was on zero tolerance, like Bob Knight, man. You know, zero tolerance. That was it. And he told me that. He's only zero time, and I feel like that's cool. I can make it, man. I can make it. I, I, I'm gonna do some good things my senior year. Now you decided to go back to East Chicago Central. All right, you had all them offers, go to different schools, and you was able to get your name back out there big through AAU. Now where's your focus? Um, and that, actually, um, give us insight on how Miles even brought you back on the team. Man, first, first and foremost, he told me, man, he was like, like I said, I got, I ain't I got suspended for, um, for having marijuana in my system, you know. I had marijuana in my system one night, so he told me, um, I had to go to drug, drug rehab program, you know, I had to go to that little rehab and stuff, and I did that. It was like about a five-week demonstration. I did that, and he was, he told me, he was like, this not going, this not, if you do this, it don't mean you back on the team, you know. And I was like, cool, but I, I just wanted to show him. And it ain't just about basketball, you know. I wanted to get back in his good graces and stuff and show him that I had transformed to a new person. <clears throat> My father was instrumental in that, too, you know. He, he he went to a couple classes with me and whatnot. So that was cool right there in that situation. But um, like I said, Coach A, man, he was he's very instrumental in uh, helping me get back on the team, man. You know, he was I know he used to talk to Miles a whole lot, telling him a whole bunch of different stuff, like how it changed and whatnot. Just Claire's and... I don't know, I guess fans and stuff telling him, man, like, give me another chance. And, you know, he did. He gave me another chance. So I'm back for my senior year. Okay. Now what's your focus? Once again, championship, championship, champ. Hey, man, I had a schedule. My central schedule, man. And I wrote down each team, man, how many points I was going to get against the team. Until I got, I don't think I would have went no less than 25. Until I got 25, 30, 30. West side I had like fifty. Yeah. So my guy come to my crib, my guy D D Perkins, he come to my crib, he like he's like, Dang Moose, you talking about going all NBA on these guys? I'm like, man, but that's that was my confidence level though, Carl. I feel yeah. like man, I ain't feel I ain't I haven't I I haven't went up against anybody to that point. I feel like that can stop me, man. I feel like I can put up a sixty point game and and it was nothing. You know, I ain't saying it would be easy, but I feel like I can do it. Yeah. You know, plus my my role model at the time, I ain't gonna say he's the best role model was Allen Iverson. So oh, that's just it yeah. all right there. You know, I felt like I could put up 60, 50, 60 points. That was nothing. I mean, probably sound crazy to some people, but I mean, that's how confident I was in my ability that God gave me. Gotcha. So how did the season go? Like I said, start off, man, I got hurt, man, turkey tournament. We got blew out. We won the first game, second game, we got blew out, man. So we come back to practice. Um. That Monday, man, come back to practice that Monday, and it seemed like people weren't taking what just happened seriously, you know. So I'm like, I was kind of agitated. So I'm in practice, went through practice, and it seemed like Coach Miles was like on my back. Anytime I did something, he had something to say. Anytime somebody else did something, it blew off and went nothing. But he just stayed, and I didn't understand at the time. He wanted, I guess, he wanted me to be the leader, so he's gonna be ten times harder on me. But anyway. So on that on that team, who was the leader? It was yourself, Johnny Ryan. Me, who else? Johnny Ryan, um, my man James Braden, Keon Jackson, um, Joe Brand. He was like a, a sophomore or something. I think he's a sophomore that year, you know. Okay. Then we had little Tremaine Bud, Tremaine Cooley. He was on the team. Little Jamal Garrett. We had a nice little team, you know. So we could have did something with that team. I feel like we could have did something with that team. So we that we had practice and whatnot. Um. I guess I just got fed up, man. I feel like, like I said, I had all these different high, other high schools to go to, and I was thinking to myself, man, why did I even come back, man? And I got to deal with what I'm dealing with now, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm a changed person, but he's still on me. Like I said, I'm just young and immature at the time, not understanding what was the real reason why he was doing what he was doing. But So I went over to the water fountain, man. I went to get a drink of water, and then I kicked the water fountain. You know what I'm saying? Not mad at anybody else, but I kicked the water fountain. just like, man, like I said, why did I come back to this? <clears throat> Well, he come. He said, "Um, Tremaine, go home." So I ain't think none of him. All right, man. I need to go and blow some steam off anyway. I'm gonna go home. You know what I'm saying? And 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 come at it again tomorrow in a different type of light. So next day, man, I come back to school. 
me and Study Hall. Send the Study Hall. I remember, like we just said, we send the Study Hall. Do it my home where I feel like I'm going to come back and do the right thing. Miles sitting there, he looking at me. He looking at me. He like, um, Tremaine, you uh, talk to Coach Fabian? I'm like, nah, for what? Nah, I ain't talk to him. So I go see Coach Fabian. So I go down to Coach Fabian. I'm like, Coach Fabian, Coach Miles told me to come talk to you. He like, he was like, um, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, you sure, man? Coach Miles just sent me down here. He's like, oh, yeah. He said you don't want you on the team no more. Man, hard drop, man. I'm like, what? This my senior year. I'm like, what you mean? It's over? Yeah, pretty much. And that was like pretty much the end of my basketball career essential, man. So so why did Miles just man up and, and come and tell you himself? <laughs> man, I never asked him, man. And at the time, I really didn't, like I said, I really wasn't even thinking or cared about why I was just messed up, man, that I was not on the team no more. You know what I'm saying? My basketball career, like I said, was over at Central, and I didn't accomplish anything that I set out to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? Doing my whole four years at Central, man. So, so do you do you think Miles um, had this plan out? You know, he he knew you was going to different schools, the possibility, and he was just waiting for you to do one thing wrong. Nah, I don't think it had nothing to do with me going been about to go into any other schools that he wanted to just get me out the way. But like I said, I mean, like, man, I don't been through so much bull crap. I've mean, just done so many things at at Central, man. That you know. He was just tired of it. He, like I said, he blessed me even give me another chance, man. You know what I'm saying? Come back in my senior year to play for the man. So he was just like I said, I was on zero tolerance, and I knew that. I knew that. I mean, I don't, I ain't, I feel still to this day I don't think like what I did, me kicking that water fountain. You know what I'm saying? Was that big of a deal? But like I said, it was just I guess it showed him that I really haven't changed. I still I'm still the same person on the inside. You know what I'm saying? I, he, I guess he thought I was putting on a different face or whatnot. So...